Now, cannon, cannon's passive. Every ability applies a stack for six seconds. At three stacks, enemies are stunned and cannon gains energy. So that's any ability. The attacks, just so you know, um, he has a passive attack. Where is it? It's on his... Yeah, it's on his W. So every fifth attack deals magic damage and also applies one of those stacks. You can see. Once Kennen has three stacks, enemies will be stunned. So if that next attack is going to be an auto or a W or even an E, we'll apply a stack. That third stack is what you're looking for. That's what causes the stun. And then Kennen's ult. That's an important one too. Because that also applies a stack. Now, Kennen's abilities. His Q is just a skill shot. That's all it is. If you've got any stacks, um, your W is literally just point and click. Very simple champion. His E is what gives Kennen the move speed. This little dash is what makes Kennen annoying because he can be very, very hard to catch. He gets a lot of move speed and he can pass through enemies. And if he damages one enemy, he gains 40 energy. So it's very important to remember if Kennen's low on energy and he has his E, don't let him touch you. And then here we have Kennen's ult. That's the big AoE wombo combo ability. Kennen is one of the strongest champions in the game. Um, he's just underplayed pretty much because he's boring. I I struggle with champion a lot in lanes, uh, even in high elo. Um, he's always been a pain, and I'm just happy that he doesn't show up more. And with that said, we're going to do a support Kennen build because I'm very confident that if I played him top, it would probably be too easy. So we're going to just try to do something a little bit harder like we did with Kale. Uh, we're going to be going for a support champ or a support build, and it comes from Sarsi Starlight. We're going to be going even Shroud, Rylize, Cosmic, and uh, Glacial Augment. We're basically just going to be a support cannon. This should be fun. It should be a support build. I, I think I think top is just too easy to be honest. Like, why would I? Why would I play top cannon? It's it's too easy to win lane with with range champ the like cannon. I think Zeri is the ban on this patch at the moment. At least in high elo, it seemed to be the ban. All right, uh, we have to actually like set up our runes here. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go Glacial Augment, Hex Flash, Future's Market, and Approach Velocity. We're gonna go uh, probably... Hmm. I'm very afraid. I guess I don't need, f I don't need bone plating, font of life. I'm probably just gonna go for overgrowth. Oh, wait, no, I should, yeah, I should just go after shock. Yeah, I'm just gonna go after shock. And then I'm gonna go, uh, ultimate hunter and zombie ward. So what I'm thinking about is I'm thinking about whether or not I'm gonna survive the all in fight. Now we have to decide if we want to go for exhaust or ignite. Kind of thinking ignite. All right, what is up, guys? It is Chillness, and we are chilling yet again. We are playing Kennen support, and uh, what should I do here? I think I should go relic because it's at Leona Lane. We have aftershock, font of life, conditioning, overgrowth, ultimate hunter, and zombie ward. The Kennen idea. I mean, he's got good CC, some good mobility. He's Kennen. It's nice. We're going even shroud. Uh, Rylize, cosmic drive, dead man's force of nature. Should be pretty chill. I don't know if they saw us go in here or what, but we're going. I'm on this. 
don't know why they're letting this guy leave. That was kind of crazy. It should have been a first blood, but they... So, Leona flashed over here. And that should pretty much just be... Leona dies. They just walk down river. I'd fl flash to follow, and that's it. But, oh well. I don't care that much. Oh, I'm a little late. Better just... Give him something. So I'm gonna try to get control of the lane early. I don't have flash, so it's a little spooky if we get caught. It shouldn't be that bad. Leona clearly doesn't have E. I'm getting a lot of free autos in this one. This guy just pinged that he's on the way. Nice. Good job, Ezreal. Ezreal pinged on the way. He did it like a real level 2 all in. This guy an E student or what? jungle so I don't suspect I'm gonna be ganked anytime soon I'm gonna get this wave under really fast if I can I'm just gonna go for boobs, I think, and wait for a ward. Seems fine. Ezreal got a lead, he's got a sheen. I'm in pretty good shape here. Lane's even. Ooh, big win up top. Big win. Very close fight up top. Olaf just made a mistake. He should have. He should have uh, probably backed and just let the wave push. Now he's gonna get stuck there again. See? I guess he's just gonna leave anyways. The wave gets stuck now though. Some, some vision of some kind. very timid and we're just taking advantage of that a little bit. Ooh, Jin. I don't think so. I'm 
Trying to give it to him. I was trying to give it, but I was getting afraid that she was going to flash out. I'm gonna go for. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna go lucidity. Even shroud is the normal item here. We still have our pink. Now we've gotten a double. Wow. Olaf 1v9 top. I needed that without tabbies too. Now this whole time Nasus is getting pretty big in the jungle slowly. in the dragon right now. Almost got there. Whoa, 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 go for that. You win. What are you doing? He hard wins that. There you go. I got a mid. much standing around in this team. strong. I still have Aftershock here. Yeah, I trusted you as real and you didn't let me down. Nicely done. Gonna hard shove here. Let's take a plate. Masses can't get to us without him without us seeing it. warding. There's nothing to ward. We can see all the angles Nasus comes from here.
Game's going pretty well so far. We're in good shape. Not an even shroud yet, but even shroud what it does is it helps with uh, champions taking more damage when they're immobilized. So the idea is obviously Kennen can set up a big, a big stun or a targeted stun. It takes players so long to buy in Loilo. Ezreal should be here and we should be all letting them. PC. That's the all in that you're looking for. It's hilarious right now. Good, very good play. I knew that she might jump the wall, but I didn't even think about the blasting cone killing me. Alright, so I have my ability to sweep now. Why this guy's going bottom? guide the, the newbies around because they'll never they'll never go where they're supposed to go little pick I imagine I'm supposed to do what's the E what happens if I level E oh it does go down nice get off me boy I ignited them before you ulted, which really helped. Nice. That was a huge moment in this game. Huge moment. Huge win.
Okay. No, we're supposed to be going for uh, Cosmic Drive. No, no, Rylai's next. doing there well I'm happy to help them out with the gray screen graycation Perfect. Nice. So now we should be able to siege pretty freely. Just run straight home here. Should be fine. The team should have dragon okay. So I'm just gonna take a reset opportunity. So far so good. I mean kind of supports rocking. Smooth games today. Nice peaceful solo queue experience. Enemy Nasus got pretty big, which was scary, but he trolled. His build is needless. It's a silly build. He's doing chill chill me Nasus, I guess, but I I don't even do that bad of builds. Looks like we're in pretty good shape here. Got a nice little perimeter set. I guess I should try to squeak some farm in just to get my Rylai's finished. Now, we should group. Try to hit a big ult. We have no, um... We have no flash for 70.
There we go. Worked my way around vision. We should really be parenting right now. But we do have a pretty big wave. I think ending is okay-ish. dead yeah Timo dying is pretty bad too because he's the thing that keeps the games afloat all right they're not hitting tower they're trolling this is why it's always better to go for Baron and low elo because even when you siege it they don't really play it correctly see we didn't even get a tower So not, not worth, not a good idea. Not the best. Uh, I think I should go, what? Hmm. Let's go cosmic. Sweet. So Yone used his flash on me, but didn't get the kill. I think it's more important that I get a perimeter around dragon right now. I should be able to ward. Oh yeah, I'm free to ward deep. So we'll just take the drag and then we'll set up there. I'm just resetting my wards is all I'm doing right now. We have a little window too. This beautiful window to go for Baron. Oh, that guy's on Mega Tilt. What the fuck? Jesus. Solo ulting a uh, cannon. I don't know. They'll never win the team fight without the without a bigger ult. Ooh, very good stopwatch by Silas. <laughs> this is so funny. Now, does my team end? I have no idea. Can they end here? Uh, probably not versus Team Mushrooms. Yeah. I should have ulted as soon as Yone ulted. It would have went better for me, I think. And I would have died. Your team has destroyed yeah, we do need to open other lanes. The Lily Bear is correct. Yes, yes, yes. 
I don't want to show until... Just right, boys. stand. Yeah, I'm gonna take the reset. I have to get some more wards anyways. It wasn't a really good time for me to go in and ult there. Had to go in once I saw the Nasus trying to sneak in there. We have to flash for it and put it away because he's the biggest threat right now on the enemy team. Nice, good job, support cannon. Not a bad showing for you, buddy. Not a bad showing. GG. We stayed chill. Smooth games today. Both Kane top and Cannon support both went really, really well. So we are moving and grooving. Where are we at in the ladder right now? We've, I feel like we've been very slowly climbing. We are now promoted to gold three. Very nice. Very nice. Feels like this account, which was hard stuck bronze, has been sort of salvaged. Overall, pretty good team. Um, pretty fun build. Makes sense, you know? Uh, is it the best support? Nah, he'd probably be better. I, I mean, who knows? He might actually be better as a support than top laner right now. Um, but he's kind of weird. He's he, he's a champion that I've always struggled against too in laning because hit, reading his stuns and when they're going to hit you is always kind of obnoxious to figure out. But now that I've played him, I think I could lane against him a little bit better. The uh, the stuns and being able to see when the stun is coming was a huge change. There was a, a positive change. Seeing those marks around you is really, really nice. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, stay chill.